talking about the horniest place in the entire universe. And it's actually not as cool as it sounds. This is the realm of Slanesh, one of the four chaos gods. At its surface, this place is almost too good to be true. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a place where all the desires of mortals are readily at your fingertips. And unlike the other chaos realms, it's not hard to get to at all. These doors are always open to everything. Looks can be deceiving though, because Slanesh's realm hides a very dark truth. And once this place sinks its claws into you, you'll never be allowed to leave. Realm is actually broken up into six circles of seduction, each designed to test the resolve of anyone who would enter this place. Only by passing through all six circles can somebody enter the palace of Slanesh. This makes sense because Slanesh is the god of excess. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, the whole shebang. Each of these circles is designed to test the traveler in a different way. The first circle is all about greed. The second is about gluttony. The third tests your carnal desires. The fourth tests your vanity. The fifth tests your pride in yourself. The sixth tries to lull you into a state of inactivity. Only by passing through all six layers can somebody reach Slanesh's palace. The things that were once pleasurable become absolute nightmares. Talk about how the realm of Slanesh is designed to tempt you and then punish you for your desires. And despite how beautiful it looks on its surface, it hides some seriously dark truth. This place is broken up into the six layers of seduction. And the traveler must pass through all of them in order to reach the palace of Slanesh. First realm is the circle of avidity, where the traveler's greed is tested. Everything in this place is made of gold, including the grass and the trees. And all of these riches constantly test you to just grab a handful. But that's exactly what the Chaos God wants you to do. As the other thing you'll notice here are all of the bones interlaced between the piles of gold. The remains of the last few people that gave into their greed. All of the treasure in this realm is cursed. You could end up grabbing a gemstone for it to hatch into a flesh burrowing demon that consumes you from the inside out. Or maybe you'll end up touching one of the beautiful golden statues just to find out it was once a person. And then you'll be turned into a statue as well. Fully aware of your surroundings but never allowed to leave. Or maybe you'll get lucky and you'll try to carry so much gold out of this place that you'll end up figuratively and literally crushed under your own greed. If the traveler makes it out without giving into their greed then the realm of gluttony is next. The realm of Slanesh is a really messed up place. On one hand, it's alienly beautiful, while secretly being a twisted nightmare. And in order to reach the palace, the traveler must pass through all six circles of seduction. Let's talk about the second realm, the realm of gluttony. This place is a massive string of islands, islands where there is no actual water. All of the liquid here is pure wine, wine that is supernaturally delicious and intoxicating. This stuff is so delicious that it's basically impossible to keep from dropping to your knees and gorging yourself on it. After you take one sip, you'll be unable to control yourself. You'll drink and drink and drink until you eventually fall in, get sucked underneath the surface, and never be seen again. If a traveler is able to resist the wine, then they'll notice that all of these islands are actually giants, and the giants hold in their hands enormous banquet halls, filled with some of the most amazing feasts imaginable. The food here is so delicious that you'll be unable to stop eating, and the demons here will continue bringing you course after course after course. The food will slowly start to change you, and you'll get bigger and bigger and bigger, all the while completely unaware of what you're actually eating. Eventually you'll get so large that you'll collapse to the floor, which is made up of other people that gave into their gluttony. I told y'all that this was the horniest place in the universe? Let's talk about the one spot that gives this place its reputation. This is the third circle of seduction, the circle of carnality. This is the place where a traveler's more intimate desires will be tested. Just like the rest of this place, it's absolutely beautiful. There are beautiful waterfalls, lush forests, and all manner of harems and palaces dotting the landscape. And it's in these places that every conceivable act of debauchery takes place. The demons here take the form of the most beautiful men and women imaginable, and every gender, body type, and sexuality is represented. Lanesh may be evil, but they do do not discriminate. This is a world where nothing is considered taboo, but it's also a realm of love and acceptance. And these desires might not even include any physical contact at all. It all depends on what the traveler desires most. And these demons can take the form of anything your heart desires, whether they be real people or fictional characters. A word of caution though, the people here are not what they seem to be. They are a particular class of demon known as a demonette. And this is what they actually look like trick you into constantly pushing your boundaries further until you find yourself into some really dark stuff. And it very quickly turns into a Hellraiser type situation. Trying to travel through the realm of a chaos god is no joke. And some of y'all seem way too confident that you'd make it through. And while I respect that confidence, let's talk about how it's gonna come back to bite you. This is the fourth circle of seduction, the realm of paramoncy. The first thing that a traveler will see here are massive crowds of adoring fans, all chanting and screaming their name. Some might even see giant statues of themselves. And these crowds can take many different forms. If the traveler is a musician or an artist, then they might be greeted with stadiums full of fans. A lieutenant or a general, on the other hand, might be greeted with legions of soldiers ready to march to war in their name. A politician or a governor, on the other hand, might see a vast array of nations ready to pledge their loyalty to them, and maybe even a planet or an entire sector of space to rule over. To anyone who's ever dreamed of power or fame, then this place might seem like an absolute paradise. There is a catch, though. Everything here is an illusion. The realm is actually a vast and dead swampland, 
littered with the bones of the people that were never able to break the illusion's grip on them. And if you stay here too long, you'll become incredibly paranoid that all of these fans are out to get you. Traveling through a Chaos God's realm is way harder than you think. A perfect example of this is the fifth circle of seduction, the realm of vainglory which on its surface takes the appearance of a beautiful forest. But like everything else in this twisted place, everything isn't as it appears, and sinister things lurk within its trees. Something about the way the winds rustle through the trees here puts the traveler's mind in a very introspective state. They start to dwell on old memories, whether they be of childhood friends, past victories, or even their triumphs through the other circles. It's in this trance-like state that the traveler dwells on the best moments of their life and they ponder the things they've yet to accomplish. They get so deep in their thoughts, they fail to notice the vines of the forest creeping ever closer. And when they approach one of the bodies of water here and gaze upon its surface, the water will rear up and take the form of the traveler's deepest regrets or whatever represents their ultimate defeat. This could be an old rival, an alien enemy, or the moment of their greatest failure. It's then when their visions of past glory shatter that the vines strike and strangle the traveler. The last thing they hear is the laughter of demons. Chaos God of Horniness is pretty messed up. And the final section of their realm is actually the hardest to get through. And even though it looks super peaceful, the reality is much darker. This is the final circle of seduction, the realm of indolency. This lair actually takes the form of a tropical paradise. It is the definition of serene. And after a traveler's long journey through the other circles, which could have taken years or even centuries for some, it would be understandable that the traveler would want to take a moment to rest here. And there are supernatural things here that make that temptation even harder to ignore. For example, there are beautiful men and women here that want to attend to the traveler's every need. Whether that be to massage their aching muscles, provide them with food and drink, or even just offer companionship after their long and lonely journey. There's also a heavenly choir that plays the most beautiful music imaginable. These men and women are demons in disguise, and the shells you're stepping on are actually bits of bone. All that remains of the people that gave in and took a nap here, and that heavenly music from before is actually the sounds of their souls in eternal agony. It's just been remixed by Slanesh to sound, you know, peaceful. If you fall asleep here, then you'll never wake up.